Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tom, and I'm here with my colleague Dan. Uh, we are from the Data from Sky team, and we are here right now to show you how we integrated our Flow video analytics engine with Milestone X Project. To introduce ourselves in two words, we do computer vision at Data from Sky. We started in 2013 with a solution called Traffic Survey, which is as a service to analyze pre-recorded video footage for some sort of traffic studies. Later on, in 2017, we introduced parking detection system, which is utilizing cameras to detect occupancy on a parking lot. To parking detection are then all the all smart parking features related as well, uh, such as license plate recognition, mobile app, LED panel, navigation, and so on. Uh, very recently, we introduced Flow Engine, which is a combination of the earlier two. So it is a real-time traffic analytics engine. This flow is built on trajectory-driven design. Trajectory-driven design consists of three simple steps. First one is the detection. In the detection step, we basically take an image and analyze what we see in it. In that way, we can say that there is a red car, there is a silver car, there is a pedestrian, there is a cyclist, there is a bus, and so on. But it doesn't end there. From the detection, we move to tracking phase as the second step. In the tracking phase, we connect individual detections to create a continuous trajectory or movement, if you wish, of an object. In this way, we know exactly what are the turns and movements of cars, of pedestrians, how they interact between each other and so on. And in the last step, we need to interpret those trajectories, give them a meaning. So we create different types of filters, gates, zones, category filters, time filters, etc., to get the actual traffic insights, so to get uh, some sort of a meaning out of the data. There are three uh, very unique things about Flow Engine. Flow Engine has uh, three main benefits which are unique comparing to other uh, video traffic analysis systems. First one is that it integrates hundreds of different sensors into a single one. You can use one single camera view to detect multiple scenarios. So you are saving uh, a lot of costs. Secondly, it is very simple and easy to work with solution, especially from the setup point of view. There is no need to configure anything. Uh, so the detection starts. You just connect an RTSP stream and everything is picked up right away. And thirdly, the user interface is very simple to work with. We are utilizing visual filtering language, well, which, which even non-programmers can work with. But you will see it later during Dan's demonstration. Now, how we integrate uh, with um, uh, Milestone X Protect? It is a very simple process. First, there, are, uh, there is a network of cameras sending the data to Milestone, uh, RTSP, or OnWiv data, and, and many more. Then we utilize newly developed Milestone AI bridge to get camera details to our flow engine. Mostly we were getting RTSP stream as that is what we need for the analytics. After we were sending the analyzed events again through the AI bridge back to the Xprotect to visualize them in a single point. Now this is from the architecture point of view and I will give my word to Dan who will show you more about the demonstration. Thank you, Thomas. Uh, what we can see now is the Flow client application called Flow Insights. Here we can connect uh, RTSP streams of cameras to create new analytics. The first way to do this is just supply a name and the RTSP address. But now that uh, we have integrated with the AI bridge, we can connect with the VMS and pull a camera network from there. Let's go to the interfaces screen and connect to the VMS server. We fill out all the necessary details. Now that we have uh, filled all the fields, 
we save it and at this point flow is sending a registration request through the graphql api to v to the vms we can see it it has been successful and the vms is online now when we try to add an analytic we have two options the first one is the old one to supply the rtsp address directly but the second one is to select a registered vms and here we can see the list of all the cameras that are connected to the vms we can expand each camera and uh, see all of its details and previews we can also filter the cameras and there are some options to filter by camera name codec resolution frame rate or the camera camera's location we could select uh, multiple cameras and add all of them as analytics but for, for the, the demonstration purposes, we'll select just this one and add it. Now, the second part of our integration uh, lets us send events to the VMS. In order to send an event, we first need a triggering condition. For our demonstration, let's say that we want to capture moments when a car uh, was dangerous close to a pedestrian. Let's set up uh, an operat operator chain that will detect this situation. But first things first, we'll set up a dynamic anonymization which will blur all the faces and uh, license plates of the, of the objects in the scene. In this way we are fully GDPR compliant right that's right now we can create zones one for the pedestrians and one for the cars these zones select all the traffic objects that are within them we'll set up this zone to include only objects that are right now inside and we want to select only pedestrians. We'll do the same thing for the second zone, but we want to include only vehicles. Uh, now we need an output for these chains. These outputs are, are called widgets. We add a value widget to each part of the chain and we add a trajectory view widget so that we can see the scene on our dashboard. Here on the dashboard we see all the widgets and their values. We can see how many uh, traffic objects are in the first zone and the second zone. Now, uh, let's create an expression widget, which will uh, trigger only when there is a pedestrian on the, on the road and a car near them. We select the first widget and the second widget to include in this JavaScript expression. And the new expression is being evaluated in real time and will be true only if there's a pedestrian and a car. Now that we have set up our condition, let's create the actual event topic to send to the VMS. We go back to the interf interfaces screen add an event topic and fill out all the necessary details 
The name is very important. This is how the event is identified to the VMS. We select the source analytic whose camera ID will be included in the event. And we define an expression to trigger the event. In our case, it will be our expression widget. Now, every time there is a value greater than zero in the expression widget, the, the event will be triggered, as we will see in a moment. Now, uh, I have set up in the management client a rule to trigger a recording upon receiving a potential danger event and to stop the recording four seconds after. I have also set up an alarm that will be raised upon receiving this event. Now, in the smart client, you can see that there has been created a recording of a case when a car has been near a pedestrian. An, al an alarm has also been raised. There's been mul multiple actually. And in each alarm, you can see the live feed of the camera and the recording of the incident when, when uh, it happened. As well as uh, more uh, text fields that could be filled. So that's it for my demonstration and uh, I'll give the word back to Tom. Thank you Dan very much for this demonstration. It was wonderful to see how easy it is to integrate Flow with Milestone. Uh, maybe one more question to you. Can you share with us a little bit more of an experience what you had while integrating with Milestone? Certainly Tom. Well, Exprotect already had a GSOAP API for third-party integration, it was far from what could be considered a standard. The new Milestone AI Bridge app brings, brings partners a modern API utilizing REST and GraphQL, which makes integrating with Exprotect considerably easier in all respects. We commend Milestone for their willingness to listen to our feedback and needs in pursuit of building an application that is truly useful and friendly to outside integrators. Moreover, we are excited by the potential of making the AI bridge a standard among other VMS distributors. The prospect of having to integrate with only one app in order to enable communication with any VMS would bring anyone an immense payoff. Great, that's wonderful feedback and I can only support it. Thank you for it. And this is it. This is what we wanted to share with you, how we integrated Flow with, with Milestone. If you have any questions on how to do it, feel free to reach out to us. Thank you. Thank you.